What's up, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Chris. That's Mike. Yes, it is. What's going on, Chris? I'll tell you, Mikey. It's Taizo. Yeah. It's give yeah. me my son back. It's oh my the god! The Terra Fucking Infamy. Great, great, great. Yeah, great. man. Episode six. So. Take everything that we thought or that we were talking about that we were like, what is this? What's going on? They gave it to us. 1919, yeah. she was given to Hideo as a bride, and she's preggers, and oh, yeah, dude. It, Crazy. We got the Crazy. whole thing. That whole world was absolutely phenomenal. Like, you knew that's what you knew that was a. a, a mm -hmm. And in between, what would you call that? Like a, yeah, like a, I mean, like a I, I was writing limbo, purgatory, like a lot of, purgatory, because yeah, she killed herself. Yeah, is so basically it's, what uh, that was. But but a, just a beautiful scene, like a beautiful setting. I'm like, wow, you know? Oh yeah, and it, the demon. Um, what what was with the demon guy? Like, it was right? like at any turn that was the thing. At like any, they were like being watched and like. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't know who that guy was. We don't know who the gardener was, but you know, I just like I like how they. Obviously, that was an ancestor of hers, and you know we don't know who it was, but it was it was an ancestor from a long time ago. Apparently, she was hinting at who killed her own daughter by accident. Yeah. The daughter's inside the sand. That demon is keeping them there in a way. Like it's just definitely purgatory. He's like ready to pounce, I guess. Like if anybody falls on the goes on the sand, like he's ready to. Well, he was like giving her. Right? Like, yeah, I don't know. It's still, I mean, still some questions, I guess, about that. But that but you know what? But, but that's fine general. because that's but that's what it is. Because then once she kills her relative, yeah, you know, she lets her she the the daughter takes the mom. You know, yeah. then what happens is, dude. Sh sorry, I was just thinking about when. So so she opens that door and it's dirt, and I'm like, she's gonna crawl out of a grave. And I, I was telling my wife, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, she's like, what? What? I'm like, she's gonna be crawling out of a grave, and it's 21 years later, and she's like. Dude, it's like it was yeah. such an awesome way to put that whole for the first whole first half of that episode was fantastic. Um, some questions I have are: mm. so what happened when? So last episode, it you know it shows up and she's like, "Let's go. We have to go. You have to go home." Yeah. So what happened? He just gets discharged. He gets an honorable discharge. He gets to go mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. My timeline's a little messed up in my head because it was 1943. She came out in 1940. I think I think it's forty one, yeah. And then I guess finally found Chester back. You know when yeah. did? Because so that was a while. So the whole internment camp, and it's been a couple of years since they've been in this internment camp, wasn't it? I don't remember exactly. It was I since, mean, it wasn't Pearl been... Harbor, nineteen forty one. So I so, hate to be like say yes and 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 I'd be wrong. So I won't answer totally that. Totally forgot. No, it's forty one. <laughs> but... Yeah. No, I, I mean. 41 42 um you know what i mean so it's like they so what, what are you questioning you're yeah, questioning it was, 41. It was she... definitely 41 right so, all right so then two years since the whole thing's happened I'm just trying to, been there like, for a while he goes back in 1943 he goes back to the camp so because because if you if you pay attention throughout the episodes they've been showing you the time stamps Mm -hmm. Okay, so they went from one camp to one camp to this camp, and now they've been living in this camp. It's been like a, a year, maybe a year and a half at this point mm -hmm. that they've all been living there. So yeah, and then so Luce, he's home, you know, uh, Lu you know, Lu obviously Luce is gone, and he's looking at his babies, and it's just it's all messed up. This this episode was just like woo, like it just went it just went right away. Yeah. He, no, the, I mean, listen. The scenes with the scenes with um, his adopted mother, because obviously we find out, you know, in this episode, a, a bombshell of who Chester's parent uh, mother really is, or who, who his parents are essentially. We, well, yeah, we, we kind of at, at that point we were like, oh, was, this is this is yeah. Chester. Um, I'm I mean, doing I the kind math of in my yeah. From the beginning, like, yeah, from the beginning of the episode, I kind of it kind of hinted that night was like, holy shit, and then obviously it was verified. But when when Chester uh, came back and he was laying with. You know, by his children's grave, which right. was sad in itself. But his adoptive mother, Asako, now comes over to her. And you saw when she twitched when Yuko went uh, into her. And they had this conversation. Yeah. That was, like, fucking super cool. Because they're having a real-time conversation Chester's yeah. having with the Yuri, which is also his mother. So there was a lot of cool stuff like that. I mean, he I already said... Yeah. yeah. No, 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 go. Go ahead. I was going to say, she attacks him. Yeah. Like she can't help it. Like she's a monster and she attacks him. Yeah. And then the mom was like, the mom, I think, got her away from 
Yeah, like, she said she felt. Yeah, you know, she, she felt it. Her, her intentions inside. Yeah. Um, and and the struggle that that she has. Yeah, because I mean, listen, Chester was calling her a monster and a Yuri and all this kind of stuff. And I think I think Yuko even says like she's like she's not your mother or she says right. something like that. You call her mother. Yeah, um, yeah. Something like that. So I mean, that was a really crazy scene in itself, but. I already mentioned the the Japanese paradise scenes were fucking beautifully shot. That place was just like oh insane. yeah, it was very reminiscent of Nosferatu with the blurred the blurred yeah. um, edges and stuff. Yeah, yeah oh yeah. It was like almost stuff. like Groundhog Day for a little bit. It seems like she's waking oh, up. Oh every- yeah, you knew you knew that was coming down there. Like I knew that was that was that was a thing that was coming in. And yeah, I thought I thought that was yeah. You I mean you knew you knew what that was. That was just a weird ass purgatory thing. Yeah, but you know the th- and then. How did you feel about how Chester reacted? Obviously, he's going to be upset. He's going to be like, "What the hell are you talking about?" It changes. Not only is his are his did his woman leave and his children are dead. He's now finding out that he's basically adopted, and that his mother is the freaking Yuri. Like, what did you think, man? That was that whole thing is like. Yeah, it's uh, you know honestly, I, I told you before we started recording, I feel really bad about how he's treating Henry, which um, I know Henry this- stood up. He's like, "Oh, you think so?" Yeah, I was ready yeah, for him to like slap him in the face. I was like, "Yeah, I know, I know," because you, it doesn't take it doesn't take the donator to necessarily be the father. You know, yeah. it's it, you know he obviously loves loves Chester and and raised him yeah. both of them. So it's uh, yeah, it's kind of strange how he doesn't necessarily. I guess because Osaka Osaka is his his blood that he isn't react to her the same way that, that he was did a messed too. up line too she's like he's like she's my blood you're nothing yeah you're he's nothing like, oh, you i know it's so. it, it's yeah, it's, it's up, fucked man. up so yeah. maybe that's a part of and maybe we'll see a reconciliation this could, could just be with look at what chester's gone through oh yeah you know so this is a lot of information that's that's um brought to him you know rather quickly he's 24 something like that 25 it's got to be around that that age right so uh, 23, 23 yeah, 20, yeah, or like that. that. So, yeah, something like that. you know, he's he's grown up. He's got a bombshells of information bombarding him. So I, I feel bad for Henry, but let's see if something can happen where he changes his tune against against Henry. Yeah. You know, so we'll see. We got four episodes left of of this show, but this this was really intense. I'm I don't know if what else you want to really talk about. I'm I'm looking through here, but. Uh, checking his age. No, I just, I just, um, so we ended. Okay, so they decide. So she decides that she's gonna. She just, she just ends up taking a baby. So, all right, there's a couple. <laughs> all right, a couple of things. Couple of yeah. things. We, we discussed last episode how she, to go out in public, she was in her regular demons, you know, mm-hmm. de- dead skin mm-hmm. wearing mm-hmm. a mask. Now yeah. she's back. Yeah. In. Her skin is it? Is it that whenever she takes over a skin, she can get her skin back? Maybe she pulls some life force out of whoever she inhabits, and then she can get skin back. Because either way, she had her skin back, and she was a little dirty. Her her kimono and stuff was yeah. all dirty. Or or but maybe it has something to do with going in and out of her her limbo, her purgatory. Maybe, but that, then there's that a whole physicality before. to it. Yeah, but then so either way, the bottom line is she takes some other person's baby. And I'm sitting yeah. there going, I'm like, whoa, whoa, what, what is this? What is this? And but, you know, mm-hmm. you realize that they use the, I feel like they use the fireworks, cutting between those scenes to kind of be like, hey, no, this is all happening at the same time. Yeah. That's what. That's why because I was like, my wife was like, what? What is this? What's happening? And I'm like, I'm like, it's the same. It's happening at the same time. She's out in. That's real time. She's t- she took a baby, mm-hmm. and then she and then there's an open grave, and she just falls into the open grave. A lot of surprises because then all of a sudden she yeah she gets up and she's like well I, oh, I can't take I can't take anybody but my blood fine and and then you know he goes out there Chester and he sees her laying there it's like uh, okay yeah so that you know they put her on and Yoshida they, they were perf- like yeah they're gonna perform this I thought that was so sick and then she's got that yeah. on in her in her purgatory. She's yeah. got the marks on her and all the writing. Like I thought it was pretty yeah. sick, man. And then and, and they're gonna burn her and like they tied her. I was like, yeah, they tied it with the barbed wire and I was like, uh, a lot of crazy. Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, for the longest time, I'm like, please don't wake up because I'm just waiting for them to all stand around her while they're drawing on her face and chanting these these uh, ritual 
words. You know, it's I'm like, oh god, just stay there. Don't just kill, just die. I'm I'm just like yelling, just die, die, die. Yeah. And for a moment, you know, I'm sure we both thought, oh shit. You know, especially when they were giving us those scenes of Yuko like burning, which looked really cool too. Yeah, yeah. Because ever since she killed the woman that was originally there, it's like dark. You know, it's a very dark and stormy looking yeah. um, place. So it, it's changed to suit Yuko's life or situation, yeah. whatever yeah, it is. Her, her, where her so spirit, like how a spirit yeah. Right now. So it's much. Um, it was just much different. But to see the flames and the heat and stuff coming from her face and her arms and stuff, it was really. Really cool. Yeah, but then, um, but then that yeah, but, right. And then she jumps through. Then she's like, "I'm just gonna go through this thing." And yeah. you're like, "Okay, that's her way. And I then, that's her way to come back. That's her doorway." So, you know? but like, yeah, but like, you can't destroy her. I think. Th- I think that if. Uh, I think that if she didn't go through that doorway before she, she was completely herself, yeah yeah she she would have um, she would have been destroyed but because she had enough time to make way through uh i believe that's the way she the, the reason she came back yeah damn i don't so, know man it, again i mean there's there's some there's some things that you know there's some physics that we don't understand about like again mm-hmm. how can she survive that you know w- could she always go back to that purgatory? She tried taking the baby. She couldn't do it. She just fell into a grave. Is that a doorway in? Like, it's weird. Like, It is so weird. They threw a lot of stuff at us, and whether or not it's all been fleshed out or not, like, it's a little weird, and it's fine. It's fine that it's weird. There, there's, there's questions. You know, that's stuff that we're not going to know. It's just, it's just supernatural. It's just it is what it is. But mm-hmm. part of me is like, yeah, but has she always done – could she have always done that, just fallen into a grave and be back there and – you know what I mean? Like we, we, we all of a sudden got this, all this information. It's yeah. her son. There's a purgatory. There's a, there, you know, she, she killed a relative. She double killed a relative. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's yeah. very, it's, you know, what was with the demon inside that? Per, or was that demon from the mother? Was that mother? Was that, was that demon watching the, 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 the ancestor because she was a killer and you know what I mean? Like she, yeah. all she did was kill herself, not, Someone else, someone like else, the, so like that the demon, woman, a, did, a watcher, yeah. right? She, oh, how long has he been with you? She, I can't even remember now. So you know yeah. what I mean. So maybe that's what that is. Maybe that's what that is. Maybe that's a maybe that's a, a demon watching the, the the accused in this purgatory, in this blessed, you know, in this beautiful purgatory or something. Maybe that's yeah, what well, that is. You know, it know. could be. I mean, I don't necessarily think we're going to see him anymore now that it's changed. Since well, as I'm saying, that was the whole point. Because yeah. when we went back, there was nobody there, and she yeah, walked on the, there on the sand, place. and it was fine. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you know, so there's no demons underneath there. So yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's, no, it's... L- crazy. It's it just just a crazy episode what a good it was such a great episode we def we we got many many questions answered and now Mm -hmm. you know personally i'm just like well where does it go now like well the big one the big one is i mean the big one is now is that obviously she survived and the the second question uh is that after she um she looked at she looked at chester's dead children's grave um, when she found out, when she had said that, um, she can only it has to be it. my blood. Yeah. So I'm assuming that we might see a, uh, digging up of, yeah, Chester but they're not children. alive though, but they're not, I know, alive. but maybe, maybe there's something, listen, there's a lot of supernatural paranormal shit yeah, going on here. I guess. Why I not? Mean, but then why Will wouldn't she have done children? that already? Like, why wouldn't she, right. Why wouldn't she have done that already? And don't forget they were, ba- they were like, they were like fetuses, man. Not fetuses, but you know what I mean. They were bra- they were newborns, and they were born. They were stillborn. So it's like they're just like know. they're not. They yeah. weren't even alive. Technically, I mean, were, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, you could debate. It's debatable whether. Womb. Yeah, well, that's debatable whether like a child again, if it, you know, is it alive before or after it comes out? Like you know what I mean? Like, so what I'm saying is. At what point did they die inside Loose? Because they were kicking. I mean, the way they cut the episode that two episodes ago was like, yeah. okay, like, well. It had to have been within, you know, you know, a day. It's like, so, like, yeah, so, my, so my point my point is, though, you know, I mean, well, now they're corpses. So it's like, mm-hmm. you know, her digging them up, what is that going to do? Is it going to bring yeah, I don't know. I mean, spirits listen, what back, was, right? Let me ask you this. What was Yuko's biggest um what was her want 
you know, uh, before the babies. Well, she, she was, wanted. She was caring for Luz's children. She was going to take those babies. Right. Right. Yeah. Because she, because Tyson's party. already an adult. Yeah, she's looking to. She was right. She was going to take those. She babies. was going to take those babies, and <gasps> oh, it means the blood it means the I, it's my blood that can only go I through. Just, you know, I just realized. I just yeah. realized. So it had to have been, you know, that was her agenda, dude. Did I it? just yeah. Listen, sorry, not to, I just realized a couple of things. She killed. She made that woman kill herself because she made the potions. Like we we figured that, right? Yeah. She made the the, the abortion potions mm-hmm. or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But that was also uh, uh, Faruya's wife, and Faruya is the one that cast her aside. Yes. So, yeah, it's it's okay. No, because I was just like, oh, okay. So yeah, so she not only so it's like double whammy there. Like kill the yeah, woman. Yeah. So if that he she would have drank, yeah, if she would have drank also that. The, yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 interesting. Yeah, it's just a, it's you know obviously some stuff comes together. You know, stuff's coming together. But uh, and that woman just on a side note, that woman who did we know that woman's son that 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 uh, that what's her name slapped uh, Chester's mom that, slapped. Did we know that it, wasn't that um, oh, what's his name the guy that his friend that got killed in the jeep. No, 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 no. It was one of the. I don't know. I don't remember who, what, 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 who she was. I don't know if they had. Oh, that's Amy's mom. The translator girl, the girl that. That, that was Amy's mom. That's Amy's mom. Okay, I thought and that might have been. Her father, her husband, was the one that said Chester run with the oh, gun. Oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Yamato. Is that what they? Is that there? I'm I sorry. Think, like I, I think his name was Yamato. Yeah. Yamato, yeah. maybe. Yeah. So it's it's just you know what are the okay that's who that was okay I thought yeah. I thought so but I wasn't sure anyway yeah, that's that's, um, that's Amy's mom I'm okay sure. okay so oh yeah she's been she yeah you you know he brought this and that this and that you know mm-hmm. it's like, I mean so this is there's some there's still some unanswered questions who was chasing him out in you know out in the jungle if it wasn't her you know she went to go get him to bring him back like that was the whole point of her of that whole thing like get him hurt to go home or something you know what I mean yeah. like that was the whole point and. So yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know where it's gonna go from here. How many episodes this season? Ten. I believe ten. So we so should have six. just we got four more. So now, four left. Mm. so now we got all this information. Now, now the game changes. Now we know who it is. He knows who it is. He knows who he is. Mm-hmm. We all we know now what's that. So now it's like, what's the end game? What? Where is this gonna go? Oh well, she she's didn't gonna die. she's gonna be pissed. Yeah, here, so, she's gonna be pissed. But I but I think there might be a something else though. I think there might be something else. I think there might be something else in the in the mix, a different, another spirit or something maybe. I mean, we spoke about like the good and the bad kind of a thing, and you know, we didn't know who if yeah, Yuka was good, like Yuka was bad. There's something going on. I feel there's like there something. something yeah, I, I'm I'm curious to see how everybody reacts after they think they fulfilled their duty as yeah. destroying the body. Cause yeah, we'll I'm assuming, yeah. uh, I'm kind of curious of how they're going to find out that you goes back. Yeah. Cause that's obviously going to happen in the, in one of the next episodes or so. So we'll right. see. I mean, so, very uh, cool stuff. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's end it there. Um, yeah. you know, obviously, you know, please let us know what you're thinking. Hey, if yes. you binge this, if you if you if you ended up binging this, you know. Well, you couldn't uh, binge this one. Don't tell. No, I think you could. No, right? they only you only got it. It wasn't like it wasn't like uh, Nasiratu where you can binge the whole thing oh, if you have the I premium. Thought... Oh, it okay, was okay. Uh, it's something like you can watch it like two days beforehand. The terror. Oh, so you okay. could have so, watched. So they would have. Okay, so you get them two days okay, early. That's what that was. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I guess I just so, do whatever, right? Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> either way, let us know what you think because I know a lot of, you know, I've been talking to a bunch of people and listening to people on like podcasts and stuff. Like, people are really liking this season. These episodes mm-hmm. are fantastic. I think it's, I think it's amazing. I, I'm loving where this is going and just seeing, seeing how this is playing out and uh, you know the historical portions of it and then the supernatural. I love it. I, I'm enjoying it a lot. So oh, obviously. I- let us know what you guys think about this episode. That's right. That's right. We like the comments, so get them in there. We'll uh, answer as many as we can. Check us out at Third Person Pod on all the social media outlets. You can type in Google Third Person Podcast. 
uh, com brings you right to our YouTube channel. We have a bunch of cool stuff up there. If you're Badlands fans, if you're Wu Assassins fans, we're reviewing Wu Assassins. We have some great interviews. Again, if you are Badlands fans with a lot of the cast and the background people, the costume designers, yeah. all these kind of awesome, awesome um, interviews with some of the cast there. We did an interview uh, fairly recently with John Bruno, who is the special effects guru legend of a lot of the classics that Chris and I love, and I'm sure you love too, Ghostbusters, Titanic, True Lies, all these fantastic, yeah, yeah, Poltergeist, The Abyss, Uh, we can go on and on, but it's a great interview, it's a two-parter about Nosferatu, because we obviously covered that show, so John was gracious enough to come on to begin with, but you can just play those those videos and just listen, the guy is just spewing out all the most awesome stuff that you could possibly hear about your classic shows, and Nosferatu. So again, thank you for watching uh, our review for the Terra Infamy, there it is. episode six. Taizo. Uh, Taizo. Yep. All right. That's it, guys. Thank you very much. We love you. See you next time. Bye.